will stand behind the line marked on the floor and direct your attention to the screens at the front of the theater. As a reminder, we will... Water where you see the lightning towers over there. That is the three active launch pads at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. So once again, that's where the Atlas V and the Delta IV rockets launch from right now. And then back over here to the left is the crawler up close. Now we can't drive past launch pad A today because they are going to be having a launch go off from the over there on the 7th on Thursday. And so they have the launch pad shut off because the rocket is already out there. Um, it's still in the building, but it's out there and it's got fuel on it. So they won't let people drive by once the rocket has fuel in it. Um, so that launch will be on Thursday. And so the, right up here to the left where you see the gray structure, that is launch pad A. This is the launch pad that SpaceX has taken over. The reason why NASA did not have the budget to maintain launch pad A plus NASA was never using the launch pad again. So SpaceX launches their Falcon 9 rockets from here. They have about two Falcon 9 rockets go up every month. By the end of the year, they want to have the first test launch of their Falcon Heavy rocket. The Falcon Heavy rocket is three Falcon 9 rockets. Launch pad A is three and a half miles away. Launch pad B is 4.2 miles away. Takes the crawler about six hours to get to launch pad A and about eight hours to get to launch pad B. And it only gets 32 feet to the gallon. So it doesn't move unless it absolutely has to move. Now right up here, there is this short gray platform. This is called a mobile launch platform. This is what this is. Thank you. 